Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I am Trainer Havoc, and I am about to start my first ever run through of Pokemon Shield. I had to think about which one I was getting. Um, well, let's see. I feel like. I feel like, I don't know, one of those two uh, matched me the, the best, so we're going to choose them. Um, I'm really excited. Um, I haven't played a Pokemon game since Ruby and Sapphire. I played Alpha Sapphire a little bit, but not not like a full extent of the way through. So this is the first time I'm going to plan on playing a game with you guys. Um, took me a while to get this setup going, but I'm really excited. I'm going to be the first time experience this ever so everything about this will be new so bear with me it looks like we're starting off right at the cutscene this will be fantastic welcome to the wonderful world of pokemon i love how epic this is it's not just a guy standing in the front which is good because it's the switch right you don't want to see that anymore Go. I like that Pokemon. I kind of wish the color was maybe a little bit different. Orange I'm not a big fan of, but I like elephants. I really like elephants. They're top five favorite animals. Yes, Pokemon are all around us in the sea of the sky, even in our own. Yep. I also love the giant crowd. I love that. That's kind of the one thing that I feel like in every game was missing was the fact that there was a, a giant stadium. But of course, not having played for years and years, I don't know. Uh, this looks more like a soccer field, which I think is super dope. Champion, Champion Leons. I've seen this guy, purple hair, I know him. Hopefully my sound and stuff are okay. It's the first time running it, so bear with me. If it's not, we'll figure it out in the end. What is that? The pristine record is about to end. Oh, I like that pristine record. It means we're going to have to be the one to beat it. And now you're introducing Dynamax. It's awesome. Do they get a special form when they die on that? Or is that a... Interesting. Alright, I'm really excited to get to experience this with you guys. Got a little... Uh, woo -loo -loo, woo -loo -loo. I'm gonna be calling it that the whole time. Just be prepared for anyone who likes Age of Empires. That must be, I'm guessing that's me. Now wearing the hat, it's throwing me off. What's wrong with my knee? It's like I got a, something stuck in my pants. That your flash new phone? Oh, that your flash new phone, Havoc. That your flash new phone. I don't get it. <laughs> Were you watching Lee's expedition match on it? But you can't, but you can't cheer him on with your hands full. You know, the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be with his famous Charizard pose. Oh, uh, no, can we pose? Oh. Hop. Hop is his name. Hop, didn't expect to see you here today, dear. Isn't it the big day? Yeah, that's exactly why I came, running over to get Havoc. Never mind watching the match now. I've got it recording at home anyways. I record all my brother's matches. Ah, he must be Leon's younger brother. Come with me, Havoc. We should be here any minute. And Lee always brings presents when he visits. So I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. Now I've got to run. See you See you at mine later. I see him at like his house. See you at mine later. I guess that makes sense. Oh, we're playing. Oh, that was seamless. All right, we're in. We're, we're playing. Okay. Play with the Pro Controller. I've never played with the Pro Controller anymore. So this is like, what, Snow Run? Snow Relax? Snow Run? Okay, we're moving. Whoa, you move fast. Love that. Pushing off to the state in that state havoc? Didn't Hop say you should bring your bag? Oh yeah, he did. I last saw it in your room. I'm guessing my room is upstairs. I never saw stairs. <laughs> this is 
closet is where I sleep. Kitchen. Oh, is this my room? Oh. Okay. That's gonna encourage me not to spin around. Oh, look this. Check this out. My uh, Joy Cons are actually. I'm using my Switch Pro controller here, but my um, Joy Cons are gray currently in my Switch right now, and I have the more colors, but that just happens to be my favorite ones. So this is my bag, or it's my dad's old bag. Is it? I feel like this is a game where you're gonna have to customize your character, right? Like, it's too good not to have it. Open up the X menu by pressing X, that's the top button. You can save your progress by selecting the save from the X menu. You can also check your location, town map, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, alright, 10-4. Let's move on. Got my bag, got my hat. This must be the route. Hop is waiting for you, better head outside. Small loading screen, cool, cool. Wow, look how full that looks. All that ivy and stuff, that's beautiful. Ooh, this is a bit boo doo 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 I just caught him in book one day. Or hatched him, I guess I should say. Ha ha ha! Have a look at you, Havoc. That old bag, it looks like it could pull you over. At least we know that it should hold anything we might bring, even if it's a bag, has it? Even if it's as big as a Snorlax. Barrel roll. Oh, woo Woo-loo. What's it doing here? There. It's a roll outing into that, that fence. Hey, you silly woo-loo. I see that what you're up to. Don't go using tackle on the fence. Oh, okay, tackle works. Now you listen. No going past that fence. No! Everyone knows of the scary Pokemon living in slumbering weed. Weld? Bah. Now that's taken care of. How about it, Havoc? Let's race, but I can make it to my house first. What with you lugging that big old bag? I'm a big fan of Flappy and Mary. I, I like how big and fat these ones are, but mary has got a nicer face. And a tail. Has a tail. I do like the little, uh, I don't know what you call those. Hello, random guy. I'm not gonna talk to you. I'm assuming I can't go this way. Oh, there's a little kid here. You can't go this way yet until you beat the first gym. This must be the front door. I was going to go through the other door, but I figure I want to see what's on this other side. Oh, well, he's just waiting at the door for me. That's nice of him. Mum? Oh, okay, England. Mum is what they call him. That makes sense. You brought along a havoc. Yeah, yeah, but where's Lee? Have you gotten crammed up in the cupboard? He's still not here yet for the hundredth time. Honestly, Hop, you must learn some patience. He's probably just arrived at the station in Wedgehurst. Then that's where I'm going. You know Lee is hopeless with directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Oh, will you? Yes, that's probably... I don't know why I made him sound, her sound like an old lady. Is Lee Leon? Is that the same? Is that like a nickname? It must be undefeated champion. I'll wait for you on the route. We're just running back and forth. He ran this way. Oh, there's stairs here. Man, this house is massive. There's another bedroom. Oh, check. Oh, those are mm, those are sick. I'm guessing those are things are Dynamaxing by the way the color is, but that is those are some good looking Pokemans. Okay. Okay, he ran up this way. Okay, yeah. I feel like there's a Pokemon battle. That can happen. Okay, we can move this way now. There he is. I forget what my friend's name is. Let's get a move on! Only remember, Havoc, wild Pokemon come out of nowhere if you walk through patches of tall grass. I've got my Wooloo with me, so I'm ready for battles against wild Pokemon, of course. But not you, Havoc. You suck. So we'll steer clear of that tall grass as we go. Can you believe he just told me he sucked like that? I suck like that? Shame, 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 shame. Route 1. Oh, yeah, look at that. Nice little sign. Tells me over there. There's a poke item over there! No wandering that tall grass, you loser! He's the, he's nice. He's no he's no blue. Look, I feel like I can walk up there with that gate there. I don't know if that's true. I'm trying to move the camera around, but more tall grass. It's a straight shot right to the thing. I'm just getting distracted here. Something's happening. There he is. That's the man. He made it to Wedgers. <laughs> it's 
such an anime. Hey, that's the pose I did, isn't it? It's a small little town where we're going to come from. Hello, hello, Wedgehurst. Your champion Leon is back. I promise I'll be doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for you all to watch. It is our unbeatable champion, Leon. You and your Charizard are the greatest! Well, thank you for that. I hope you all carry on training up your Pokemon and never shy away from the battle. Then come challenge for me the champion title. But we're on it. We all be working on our battle skills just like you taught us to. Me. Man, this guy's a hero. Makes him the villain, right? But that Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on. Yeah, he knows it too. Too true. That Charizard is blazingly strong. But other Pokemon can be strong as well. That's why I want the strongest of challenges to fill the gym challenge. And come battle me. My wish is for Gallo's trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. Charizard girls. I'm not gonna read I'm gonna read those, right? Lean hop. Lee hop. Hopley. Just trying to see if something's there. So, my number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hop. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since that last time I saw you. Bingo! That sort of... That sort of sharp eye that keeps you undefeated so long, Ellie. And these bright eyes over here. I've got it. You must be Havoc. Am I right? That's right, that's me. I've heard loads about you from my little brook. I'm the Galarita's greatest ever Pokemon champion and a massive Charizard fan too. Charizard sucks. Charizard doesn't suck. I just, everyone loves him and I love Blastoise and so I just feel like he should be toned down a bit. But really, he shouldn't because Charizard deserves the love he gets because he's awesome. People call me the unbeatable Leon. That's a mouthful. Come on, Lee. You and Hattie. I bet I can beat both of you at home. Ooh. Be, maybe beat both of you at home. <coughs> he wants to be the very best like no one ever was, yeah. With a proper rival of his own, but he pushed himself to become something truly special. Well, everyone, I bid you farewell for today. But don't you fret. I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Gala can have a channel. He must have all his, like, sponsors in the back of his game. Oh. The sky. It's blue. It's a beautiful day here. Come on, Lee. You promised it's a present. So what with it? You brought Havoc and me a Pokemon. You did, didn't you? I know you must have. Right then, the greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone. Is he gonna be like, is there a professor in this one? Interesting if there isn't. There's too many Pokemon that have done research. That never happened. There's Grookey, Score Bunny. And a sob. Oh, a sob looks super cute. So now I want sob. <laughs> Running around at the speed of sound. Perfect amount of chaos. Oh. So he, Grookey seems to have a good attitude. Alright, so we have to go from what we, uh, um, a uh, couple weeks ago, a couple Wednesdays ago, I know it's gonna be just coming out on Tuesday. So a couple Wednesdays ago, we uh, did the opening of the Grookey, Score Bunny, and Sobble boxes, and our greatest polls was, in fact, from Score Bunny. As much as I wanted to choose. Sobble and Grookey, I think, are cuter than Score Bunny. However, Score Bunny, you had the best box, you get to be the one chosen. Score Bunny is a fire type. I haven't started with a fire type in a long time, anyways. Um, I never played um, Torchic. I always played Mudkip. Um, and then, I like Scent the Quill a lot. Oh, I, I chose him. I hit R. ZR. Apparently, that's A. We will not give a nickname to Score Bunny because I. Maybe one day we'll do a run through and I'll let the comments. Uh, you guys can choose all of the nicknames. But for now, no nicknames. Alright, so you're gonna. I heard you're gonna choose Garuki, actually. Okay. So who gets Sobble? I don't like monkeys. I think Garuki's definitely the cutest. Like, I have to, Even I have to admit, Garuki's cute. Um, 
But I don't like, I don't like monkeys, personally, in my life. I don't like monkeys. I feel like I need to lower my webcam. It's been kind of scary. Maybe I'm just slouching. How's that look? A little better. If I keep leaning back. See, I, I, if I sit up, it looks fine. Looks great. You see my bookshelf. Awesome. Okay. So we're going to train right now. Oh, this thing's already depressed enough. Oh, we just give him a fire and water type. Ooh. See, if we, give him, if we had chosen uh, any of the other ones, he probably would have had two fires, which, which we could have accommodated. I know when I played uh, Silver and Gold, I always chose the three starters, so Growlithe or Centaquil, um, Poly, Poliwag or Totodile, which I also love Totodile, or a Bellsprout or Chikorita. So, depending on which starter, I got the other two in that little situation. But, Spent the whole night with that partner of yours, right, Hop? Yeah, I guess he did. Maybe even built up a little love. That seems a little quick. Score Bunny did seem to have a good attitude. I feel like Score Bunny and I would go along this one because Score Bunny would carry all the weight of the friendship. Oh, we're gonna become worthy rivals. It's gonna happen. What? What are you looking at him for, me? I'm the one who'll be coming to challenge you. If you think Kavik might be able to challenge you, then I guess he's my first rival. But I'm not planning to lose to him and miss out on it. Maybe I'm speaking for, uh, whatever his name is. I don't even know. What's my rival's name? Dude, come at me, bro. Yeah, this was a, let's see how you handle little suffering battle against your friend, if he's up for it. What do you say? Are willing to head to... Ready to take Hop on for the first ever Pokemon battle of your life? Heck yeah. You wouldn't let me say no anyways. I don't know why they gave me that option. Just have your character not. Do I start with a fire move? Because that's going to be too easy. I've read every book and magazine you left behind home too. I know exactly what to do with that. Nerd. I like to study. I like to read a lot. But I, like, I gotta like start a book and then I can read it. Starting a book is really, really hard. Just like getting yourself to sit down. I have a book. I'm, I'm starting the Percy Jackson series. Easy read. Um, but I'm gonna read that. And I two chapters in, so... I'll get there. Okay, cool. Okay, we're gonna fight. Good, tackle and grab. So I'm gonna... I'm a classic tackle. Oh, he chose his Wulu, so he has the starter and Wulu. Do I have to take out both? Two... I have 20 health. I have a microphone right there, so I can't quite see that. But that's fine. Should take me uh, one more hit to beat him, and then if he pulls out Brookie, it might be worth a growl or two. I don't know, because I know that'll lower his attack, but really, he just keeps attacking. I, I imagine Brookie will have tail whip, but he might, he might have a... Ah, they gave me a free level up. Oh, and I learned Ember. Perfect. You got me have Wooly so I can learn Ember so I can burn him. I want a Wulu. What's a Wulu with all of them? You want some? Come on. This is fun. I like this on the big screen. I like the, uh, it reminds me a lot of playing Pokemon Stadium. This is like what Pokemon Stadium everyone wanted, right? Like when Pokemon Stadium came out or the Coliseum game on the GameCube. This is like what people wanted was like a Pokemon game with that like combat and the movements and stuff like that. Wow, just the pixels originally back in the day. This is great. I don't like turn-based fighting games normally though, so we'll see. We'll see where we get to here. So I have pretty good HP. My attack is high. Unfortunately, higher than my special attack. So Ember is not going to be as strong as Tackle. So I'm going to want to rely on Tackle unless something changes. The defense is weak, so physical hits are really high. Yeah, don't you feel silly? Oh yeah, we are too much. Bring it on, Lee. I'm gonna become the new Dalaresia champion. Your Pokemon all fought hard and made me almost want to let out Charles and join in all the fun. Oh, come on. Good effort out there, Skull Bunny. Why don't you all get sorted? Well, oh, that was a fast heal. And Havik, you've got a real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask of you. 
be a real rival to hop, would you? Push him! <sighs> That's probably not what he meant. Oh, I didn't read the rest. Oh, I already got I already want to get stronger and stronger. You see me battle now, Lee, so come on. You've got to let me take on the Pokemon gyms. <laughs> you? Join the gym challenge? You think I'm ready for the single greatest competition in the Galar region? Not putting the cock before the Rapidash there, little brother. I don't even know what that means. Oh, because the horse. Rapidash is awesome. Is that really what you want to do? You two have a whole lot you need to learn about Pokemon. Especially your friend Havoc. Before you think about entering gym badges. Or getting gym badges, best to think about getting a Pokedex. Ah, I'm sure his Pokedex helps him learn lots of things about all Pokemon out there, including their strengths. But it's more than just a collection of data, you know. It's a record of a trainer's love and passion for Pokemon training. Right, right, we get it. Pokédex is in, we're on it. Yeah, I'm actually with you on this one. Looks like it's off to the Pokemon Research Lab for you and me, have it. That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let the professor know what to expect. I'm going to be the next champion, so completing the simple Pokédex will be nothing. Ha! Way easier to be champion. Just another page in the tale of a legend. You probably better go tell your mum, mum, that we're heading out, though. His, his voice is going to kill me. Maybe I shouldn't voice act, I don't know. Okay. Whoa! I did hear that just now. Let's go check it out. The Wooloo got out, huh? Butterfreeze! I want that! I need Pokeballs, huh? I do think it actually... Hmm... Well, now I'm curious. That's what a good shepherd would do. If you ever lose a sheep, the shepherd would go and find it. Um, um, talks like there's a, the Bible talks about like laying down your life for that sheep. It seems a little bit over the top, but that's just something you would do as a shepherd. So that is exactly what we're doing here. Is that even though we don't know what's on this other side and it could be dangerous, we would save this Pokemon. That is exactly what you would do if you were a shepherd or sheep. Oh, this is a very pretty area. It's all misty forest. -y. I don't know where it got off to. That's why we're here. Man. Oh, I'm in long grass now. All right, we got an encounter. School, school of it. <laughs> Has anyone figured out how to pronounce all these names yet? I never used to thought those do anything. I thought they were the most pointless moves when I was a kid. I understand them now, of course, but still pretty pointless when you're level two. Final level seven. Can I like? I can't sneak around as well. I can tell. Interesting encountering things. I wonder if they do the pop-up thing. Oh, um, Rufigi. I saw someone kind of shiny one. I think it's a good looking Pokemon. Unfortunately, I don't know what it evolves into. Maybe that's part of the fun is not knowing what it evolves into and evolving. Into. It doesn't look like like the red parts are its eyes. Like like obviously they look like eyes. There you go. I saw them, but they were like there you go. You can definitely see it now. They just look like they were like fake eyes. You know, like some animals in real life and Pokemon. I'm sure like Wobbuffet. Like the eyes are in its tail, so the tail's actually the Wobbuffet. That's what I felt like was happening. Yeah, it's not like a Pokemon crying out. Don't worry, we gotta do another battle though. Gotta get Score Bunny some bubbles. I don't know what Score Bunny looks like when it evolves. I hope you look good. It's level three, so I need to get the first tackle damage. What the? I bet if I let it like stand there, if it does the Pokemon Stadium thing where it ambiently goes over each of my guys. 
or the fire, I guess, around the line. I would love trainer battles because you level up so quick with them. Oh, I feel like I was sneaking. Come on, there's gotta be something here. Nothing? That doesn't sound like a woo to me. <laughs> is whatever this is, uh, howling sounds. Here, then. It'd be dope if it was like a Pokemon causing this mist that we had to fight. Oh, this must be the legendary. Although it doesn't look as massive. What in the? Actually, I think this looks cooler than the legendary. I also like that they're introducing a legendary at the very beginning. Wow. Should I run? Like, obviously I'm not going to win. I don't know what type it is. I think I'm supposed to run. Oh wait. It is causing the miss. That's exactly what I thought would be true. Alright, so we can't run away, so we'll give it a tackle. Then we know all three don't. It's an illusion. Yeah, you can only see score bunnies little ears. I guess you can kinda see the shadow. If you know where to look. I zoomed in, do it. Oh, wow! It's a Wilhelm scream. Oh, wow! Uh, that makes it sound like more like R2D2. I'm knocked out. He's awake. Your pants with directions? I don't get that. It's nice to hear from you, little brother. You had the word sick. I've been waiting ages for you two, and you never show up. Of course, I came looking for both of you. Wait, where's the woo loop? We were trying to rescue a woo. I did it. Yep, uh. Little chap's just fine. Though all of you have fainted by the time I found you. You know this place is out of bounds, but it took courage to come all the way, come here all the same. You came up here. And I can't understand well enough why you did it. You did good. I thought we'd been had when that weird fog started rolling in that mad Pokemon attack, but at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon? What are you talking about? It seems low is stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen. They had some sort of presence. Our moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really, they seem to pass right through it. Your moves pass through it? For the fearsome Pokemon, they say living a slumbering week. Are they actually illusions or something? Get strong! <laughs> Get good enough. Maybe two of you will be the ones to reveal the truth. Quit inspiring me, I'm tired of it. For now, let's simply get out of this place. You'll be alright now that I'm here with you. That was an earful. She'll go spare if you leave without a word. I don't know what that means. I mean, obviously, it's been like. Uh, my mom's like. Mama! Mom! Mommy! Mama! Nice. Gotta like that pocket money. I'm gonna buy Pokemon cards with this.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, this seems like a good place to end it off right here. Before I get too far, I'm going to make it looks like 30 minute episodes for this first two. So, um, guys, thank you for watching. Um, and join me uh, Thursday. I'll post another one up and we can continue the journey of Sword and Shield. I will see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoy. Bye bye.